Review time. Uh, this is a set of LED light bulbs. And the reason it's a set is because Philips is selling them so cheaply, um, it actually <laughs> makes sense to try to sell them uh, in groups. Uh, well under $10, uh, absolute breakthrough price. Um, I suspect Philips really understands the consumer market uh, where consumers really appreciate uh, lowest initial cost all over any other factor. Uh, terrible warranty, uh, 3,300 hours, uh, probably be pretty consistent with a low sell price. Uh, let's take one apart and uh, see what it looks like. So, saw the top off, you can see it's just an opaque dome, very high uh, lofting, I presume, so it allows the light to bounce and then push onwards to get some side lobes. Let's take a look at the emitter array next. So looking straight down, now uh, you can see the design, uh, design date. Uh, looks like September 23rd, 2014, obviously a very contemporary bulb, not a big surprise. Uh, LEDs placed uh, in a, uh, a not in an exact array, so I suspect there's some cool aquas going on there. They've uh, got a slight offset pattern. Uh, but of course, let's see what's inside uh, the uh, enclosure here. I'm sure it's actually very simple for them to achieve such a low sell price. Uh, so, uh, how do you use a chisel to take the emitter array off? You can see it's slightly bent. Um, that's because they use something called uh, thermal uh, epoxy to hold the emitter down. So unlike a glue and yet it was still screwed in two places as well so the construction's surprisingly good uh, so far given the uh, low price of it uh, i knocked the bottom off you can see now the circuit board uh, poking through let's extract that and uh, take a look at it okay well here's the heart of the matter and why the bulb is so inexpensive uh, i sawed the enclosure apart and here's a very simple circuit board there was no potting compound uh, anywhere in the assembly and uh, the potting compound would normally be put in place to uh, allow for a much gentler thermal gradient, allows heat to uh, be conducted from the component to the case surface. Um, now that's missing here. It's expensive stuff, so that makes sense. Uh, it's also actually often in place for bulbs that can be dimmed. It helps uh, keep bulbs from buzzing. But again, this bulb, it quite explicitly in the packaging says it's not dimmable. Uh, super simple uh, circuit board. It's uh, something called phenolic, uh, one layer phenolic board. Uh, again, not super good for reliability, but very consistent with the uh, the cost model. The other thing you can see is um, there's not much to it. Uh, I'm going to zoom in here in a second, but uh, there is, huh, there's, yeah, it's about as simple as you can get. Now the bulb has full CSA UL approvals. It's completely uh, appropriate bulb for uh, use in North America. So. Um, it's not a cheap Chinese knockoff bulb you might grab out of eBay with their sort of sketchy uh, regulatories, um, and that's interesting. Okay, let's see. This thing under the shrink wrap tubing is a fuse, and here's some EMI chokes. So these are the two bits that are inevitably missing if you buy off uh, non-listed bulbs through eBay. Uh, these are uh, required, though, for a listing in North America at least. Uh, flipping it over, there is a Foley rectifier, a, a diode, no integrated circuit, just some discrete placements and small signal transistors, uh, another transistor over here it looks like, and uh, a, a transformer. And uh, that is just exactly what you'd expect if you need to save money. Uh, the one layer phenolic, of course, uh, isn't super reliable from a solder joint reliability viewpoint, but again, um, the bulb's making no pretenses that it's a super long life product. So, uh, very clever, uh, very appropriate. Looks like we have a decent process control. They can actually have a little grid here and they can mark down something in terms of, uh, I think this is the assembly type. Uh, so that's good. Um, yeah, really not much to say here, of course, because it is such a, uh, a simple assembly. Let's look at some of the uh, numbers on the bulb. Uh, the packaging said 8.5 watts. Uh, the watt hour meter I have it says about 8180. Uh, the packaging says an 800 lumen bulb, so if that all holds true, this is close to 100 lumens per watt, uh, which is very efficient. Uh, power factor, however, uh, significantly far from Unity, 0.64. Uh, the other factor in this bulb is it's not dimmable. Uh, so there's some interesting trade-offs uh, Philip's making here. Looks like there's some really good efficiency numbers, but the power factor quite poor, uh, and the dimmability uh, not. Uh, in terms of flicker, uh, there doesn't appear to be anything. Uh, I can put the camera very close to the bulb. I don't see any aliasing pattern. Same thing with the oscilloscope. It's uh, DC coupled here. A strong baseline and just a, a little bit of fuzz on top. So uh, one advantage, I presume, of not having a dimmable uh, architecture and a low power factor is uh, you have no flicker, which is actually a, a desirable thing.
So this is the light distribution pattern, obviously firing downwards. Uh, also there's side lobes, which is good. There's an asymmetry to the bulb. I'm not sure if that's because the bulb rotated while I was measuring it, or if there's uh, some sort of asymmetry in the way the LEDs glow out. But um, this is actually a pretty good pattern, certainly for the cheapest LED bulb I've ever torn down. When I was expecting essentially just a floodlight, um, this is a, a decent pattern. Well, there we have it. Uh, this is probably the end point of the LED uh, bulb industry in terms of the consumer bulbs. Uh, probably not going to have a long life, but uh, consumers are very, very explicit. They really seem to enjoy lowest initial costs, sort of forgetting about total cost of ownership. And it looks like Philips has actually done a really decent job here, quite frankly. It's got good light pattern. Um, they take away dimmability, they take away power factor, but it saves tons of money. So lots of bulbs don't get dimmed. They get uh, put into places where that's very appropriate. Uh, and you know, here for the same amount of money just a few months ago I was paying for one bulb, I now get two. So, uh, very good, very clever.